Jason Gordon. I just got over with practice. Need to find the players of the week. Come on. Hey, man. How you doing, Jim? Fantastic. Fantastic. Hey, let's go. Let's see if we can find uh, Muncie and uh, <laughs> DJ. So they're going to make it hard on me because they're taking the jerseys off, so I won't be able to see the numbers. Just yell for them. Muncie out there still. Muncie out there. Lucy over here. All right, man, let's go down this way. I know we're going to win this Saturday. Anyway. Yeah, definitely. Um, it was a good team you guys played last week. Yeah. Um, I mean, what can you say? They're are they Big East or Big Ten? Yeah. So, uh, but Bowling Green is Mac this week, right? And uh, I, I've heard from a lot of people you guys are taking the Mac conference. So, 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 so. My uh, daughter and Becky, she's down here helping me. Uh, you guys coming to uh, Wild Wings tonight? Wow. Buffalo Wild Wings, man. Yeah. <laughs> uh, big contest, man. Big contest. And uh, you could win uh, Cleveland Browns or Kansas City tickets. For December 3rd. You guys can actually get in the contest. Yeah. Yeah. All right, I gotta find where's Muncie at? And, and, and number three, I need number three. TJ. T. Where is TJ's right there? Yeah. Yeah. With that little hat on thing? Yeah. Right, come on over here. Let's go over here. I'll catch you later, guys. Hey. One of my players in the league, man. You got an interception, right? Uh, last game? No. A uh, tackle, a couple tackles? Yeah. Scout team. Yeah. This is number three. Say hi to the folks. Hey, how you doing? That's my daughter, Becky, too. How you doing, Becky? We, you're, I'm picking out players of the week, man. Got you an extra large. Uh -huh. You know you pump up and everything, man. Yeah. That's yours, all right? Player of the week. I look real good. That's Keep picture. going, man. Keep going. All right, now we're going to find Muncie. Where the hell is Muncie? Going? He's running around here. So. Dad. What? Huh? Oh, Becca. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Becca. Yeah. This is one of the uh, water girls here, Becca. Oh. Hi. Last thing's still in. Uh, she's a trainer. I'm sorry. <laughs> Where's Muncie at? They took their jerseys off. I... Muncie's probably down there. Or... Is he running? Probably. We're filming. He might be in class. He may be in class. He may Education not be here. Education comes He's... first. Yes, that's absolutely true. He's uh, one of my players of the week. Is he now? Yeah. Um, about athletic trainer of the week? <laughs> you know, you guys still haven't got your shirt yet because I haven't gotten a list. I'll get the list. You need here to tomorrow. give me a list. It's, out, it's in my cubby right now. Um, I will be here on the game, at the game. So I'm I having surgery tomorrow, so I'll be here on Saturday. Good luck. Make sure you give me that list. I will. Tessa's giving it to me. You guys didn't ride him to our oh, yeah. All right, we're going to go down this way. Check out the guys running. I don't Big Jim can't run that fast. I don't even think it would have tried to run that fast. But, uh, yeah. Uh, so Muncie might have gone to class. Uh, let's find a coach and find out. Flat, flat, flat. you coming out of Flat, flat, flat. Uh, what do you want to do? Uh, what do you want to do? 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 Muncie's still around, or did he go to class? Who? Three. 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 That's three, all right. You still here? Yeah, he's still here. We're finding him, Becca. We're finding him. I'll take you. Come on. This one of my players of the week. Get that man a t-shirt. Come on, bring it over here. Come on, bring it over here. Oh, here's Frank. Frank always gives us some closing words. Frank, my daughter, Becca, she's doing a little cam work for me. All right. This is the man. This is the man. Uh, how'd it go today? Good, good, good. They practiced hard this today. I like what they've been all about. Worked up a good sweat, I see, these guys today. Yeah. Um, Bowling Green, uh, 
Almost a, an easy win, I'm thinking, Frank. That's how I'm looking uh, at Saturday. It's never an easy win. It's never pretty. I really think you guys are going to take this. Now, I've, I've been talking around, and they are saying that you guys are going to take the Packers. That's the word that I'm hearing. Who have you, you been talking to? Uh, everybody and anybody. But, uh, everybody, okay. No. Yeah. So, you sound uh, like some reporters that I know. You know? <laughs> they, they no facts, but they... Uh, well, I try. I try, okay. Frank. Uh, okay. uh, anything you want to say real quick? Uh, what do you think about the, the the game this coming weekend? Should be so just plain old back to business. Should be a should be a great game. You know they uh, they've got a, a program that's been very successful over the years and you know, they're a proud uh, football program and and they've not gotten off the kind of start that they envisioned and so they'll they'll be coming back hard and. Uh, you know, we've got a lot to prove, um, and so it should be a great game. We'd love to get everybody out to, to see it and, and kind of get in our corner. And that's my job. That's your job. Get out there and get the fans. Defense, Frank, the defense is hanging in there this year. Um, I, I think they've impressed a lot of people. Um, they've had a good start on that. Yeah. Now, and they still work hard, mm -hmm. getting new game plans and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, how about the offense? What's going on with it? I'm sorry, I was too close. I love you too. Yeah, all right, buddy. This is his spotlight, man. You're on the field. Can you tell I got mad at TJ today on the field? When he comes out to the ball game, you know that. He got a T-shirt. He's one of the players of the week. I'm looking for Muncie now. He's another one that's uh, player of the week. Nice, um, I know he had a rough week last week. Yeah, you know, you, you know what position he plays. Uh, Every time defensive. I gotta, every time I got to start from scratch with him. He's not a linebacker. Uh, he is a linebacker. No. Yes, he is. Yes. Yeah. All right. I thought. He's over there. They're yelling. I'm a little bit nervous when I when I'm around Frank because I, you know, when I, I, who'd I call uh, number 87? I think I called him Todd, and his real name's Matt. So I'm getting there. I'm getting there. We want to call plays, and you don't even know the position on the team yet. Come on. Yeah. What am I gonna do with you, buddy? Um, are you coming to Buffalo Wild Wings tonight? No. Wings are on me. Are they? I'd love to be there, but no. Right. Uh, we'll, we'll be working tonight. You guys are going to be on the tapes and yeah, looking right. at the papers? Yeah, and, that's right. Okay. Night Frank, I won't be able to shake your hand for a couple of days. I'm having a surgery. I'm, I'm laying it on Tesla tomorrow. All right, do that. Let them know who knows what, you know, and, and what, what, how, how's it go back up? Did you know? So what do you say goes? That's right. That's it. All and, right, uh, same, buddy. Same Good luck you, on Frank. that surgery. And uh, I'll be here game day. All right. Rooting you guys. On. Okay, so far you've been 100%. That's right, and I'm down 34 pounds, so you owe me a game, Frank. Uh, now, listen, if it wasn't for us, you probably wouldn't be doing <laughs> You're absolutely right. You know, when we first had that conversation up Yo. here, you, and you came down the back field. back in, what, April or something? Yeah, I didn't know you were going to make it. Down there. I mean, you were struggling. <laughs> were you or were you not? Yeah. I was hopping yeah. and popping. Now look at you. You're up yeah. and down. You're climbing over the fence. Like Running up and down the field in the morning. Players doing a good job, buddy. Hang in there with it. We love you, All Frank. Right, good luck on All you. All right, thank you. Now we got to find Muncie. I know he's around here somewhere. There you go. Uh, I was right. Defensive He's over there. tackle. He's over here. Yeah. Where? They said he was over here. Hey, he's right here. Where? Oh, there he there. is. Where's my man? Where's my man? Hey. He's got a rock. Catch your breath, buddy. Catch your breath. Oh, wait a minute. I think. Is it a coach or? Oh, all right. Never mind. <laughs> You're the spotlight right now. Picking you as one of the players of the week. All right. Yeah, you uh, had a couple good tackles uh, last game. Uh, considering you had problems with the elbow, how's the, how's the elbow coming? Uh, it's doing a lot better. I had a staff infection with the team. Right. Uh, stitches or anything? Or No, they, uh, they cut into it, but they didn't give me stitches. Okay. Was Tesner the doctor? Uh, no, it was uh, Dr. Rosenberg. Oh, okay. Will Rosenberg. Wow. Tesner's clipping on me tomorrow. Oh, really? Tomorrow? Yeah, yeah. So uh, um, I'm laying on him, and about the, you know, Bobcats are, this is the year when he, I, I, I hate to say it, he kind of, he disagrees with me, but we're, we're going to show That's him. That's what I, mean. I heard. Yeah, yeah. Listen, you're one of the players of the week, and I'm really sorry to hear it. about the loss of a, of a good friend of yours, man. Yeah. Uh, when I heard that uh, during the game, I began the game, they brought it up, and uh, I threw a quick prayer in for you. And uh, uh, I'm really sorry to hear that. And you did an excellent job being into the game under that kind of a circumstance. Thank you. Here's your big gym, double X, man. All right. So you can have plenty of room. Awesome. Player of the week. All right, my man. Thank you. I'll see you Saturday. I'll be here at game day. This is uh, community, no, sports talk with Big Jim. <laughs> Mr. Muncie, the linebacker, right? Yeah. Yeah, so you know, Frank didn't think I knew the position to play, but I did. Uh, we'll see you next week on Sports Talk.
Get out of here and see my man now. Mason. Mr. Coach, Coach Mason. How you doing, guys? Hey, man, now listen, I, I put a word in with you, Frank. That's what I'm talking about. I appreciate that. Yeah. Now, uh, same thing this weekend. I, yeah. You know, I told you, I said, just blame it on me if he happens to drop the ball. But I know you're not no, going to drop it. I'm not, yeah. 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 We'll, we'll show BG what's up. We'll show him what's up. That's right, man. That's right, man. This is my daughter, Becca. Very nice little, to meet you. Uh, do you show us Buffalo Wild Wings tonight? Huh? Buffalo Wild Wings, man. All right, man. Seven to nine. Can't Come on down. Wings, wings are on me. Wings are on me. Coach Mason. What's going on, Big Tom? Hey, my man. Oh, yeah, what's going on? My daughter, Becca, she's helping How you doing, her. Becca? It's so good. nice to meet you. You too. And, uh, my All camera right. work today. Um, All right. Gearing up for Saturday? Hey, I tell you what, I, I, I'm, I'm as geared as I am every week. I tell you what, <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's, it's a good game, big game. Big and game. Gonna have some fun. Yeah, it's the Mac, so. Oh, no you, doubt. If you beat them, you're 2-0 in the Mac. That's right. So, uh, That's right. Uh, I was telling Frank that, uh, you know, I've been talking to uh, everybody and anybody. That's right. And they're saying OU's going to take the Mac this year. Yeah. So that's what I'm hearing. Well, that's so, uh, you know, and I think you're showing it by the uh, uh, aggressive practice. Very aggressive today, I noticed. Working up a sweat, the guys, and uh, I think Frank seemed happy today. Right. Um, and it's hard to make him happy, isn't it? Hey, I tell you what. Yeah. You know, you know, Coach Souls is used to you know, I mean, a certain level of excellence. I mean, he played that way. That's you know, right. I mean, he coached that way, and you know, I man, he he continues, man, to make sure that you know, I mean, our guys, you know, I man, prepare and get themselves ready to play. That's you right. Know, week in and week out, and you That's know, right. man, whatever that is, you know, man, coach is going to find it. He's going, you know, man, try to get us to that 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 level. That's right. That's right. And That's you right. too. Uh, You're the same way, uh, Mr. Motivator, right here. Uh, 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 Mr. Motivator. Now, now Tesner is operating on me tomorrow. Is he? Yeah. No so, way. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what, 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 what's up? I got uh, 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 arthritis and a tendon problem here. Okay. So he's the specialist. You gonna clean it up? Yeah, he's gonna clean it up, and it's gonna be one of my shows. He's allowing me to film the show. <laughs> really? Yeah. Okay, that's good. That's good. Now, <laughs> yeah. now I'm gonna watch that show. Oh my I'm God. That's right. It'll be like uh, Discovery Channel show. at OU. You know that's what I mean? That's right. Now, that's right. Uh, Frank, did, Frank made me feel good today. Uh huh. Because back in April, when I did my very first interview with uh -huh. him, we took the golf cart all the way around there. The gate was locked. Had to come back, and I walked from over there down to the field to where we're about right now. Okay. I was doing one of these, huffing and puffing. Uh huh. Look at me now. Man, I'm running up and baby. down the field. I'm 34 pounds down. Hey. You guys owe me a game now. Hey, and let me tell you something about this man. This man works every day. Okay, man, coming out here, come in, making sure, man, that he gives us, I mean, his best. I Full tell support. you what, Full he's support. doing it. He's doing it. Big Jim, number one. That's what I'm talking about. Full All support. the way. That's All right, the way, baby. You know I love you guys. All the way, baby. And I'll be here. I'll be here game day. Oh, I know you will. Two o'clock and uh, cheering you guys on. Are you coming? I have a band competition. She's okay, a, She's an Athens marching band, or she'd be here, but she'll be. She'll I be came to Tennessee she'll... Martin game. All paid, right. Paid my own way and everything. Paid her own way. Yeah. Okay, yeah. well, you won't have to do that anymore. That's right. Okay, rest assured, you won't. That's that right. Anymore. That's right. All right, go Bobcats. That's right. Hey, good you luck Saturday. I'll you see you Saturday. You got it. Keep them pumping. Keep them pumping. You got it. Take care. All right, this is Sports Talk with Big Jim. Earlier, Becca, just <laughs> star right now. Sorry. Um, same two guys that are in my intro right there. Uh, or my ending. Uh, Bobcat right there. Those guys. They're the ones I took the still pictures of. Every day they're out here doing this after practice. Wish I this could is do that. Fortitude. This is called We Want to Win, right there. Guys, you're looking good today. Okay. All right, listen, we're going to get out of here. Sports Talk with Big Jim. I'll see you game day. See you next week. Right underneath the camera. No, the camera. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, that thing turns it. So you can turn. Just don't touch the mic cord. All right, are we rolling? Oh, we're already rolling. Cool. All right, got some some good guys here sitting next to me. They all know who I am, but we're gonna let you know who they are. We'll start off with this guy right here. Tell us uh, who you are and uh, what what position you guys play, and fill me in on something on Coach Mason while we're at it. <laughs> How you doing? I'm Todd Henley from Richmond, Virginia. Play middle linebacker. And uh, one thing I can say about Coach, Coach Mason is uh, he's a very loud and intense guy. Motivator. Motivator, yes. Motivated me to lose 34 pounds. Wow, 34 pounds? 34 pounds, I'm down, man. Hey, man. You guys owe me a game. I'm losing 10 pounds for each game you win. Okay, okay. Bowling okay. Green, 
We're okay. even. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. All right. Um, I'm Brandon Jones, quarterback from Marietta, Georgia. Um, you always hear Coach Mason on the field because he's the loudest coach. You know what I'm saying? So. Uh, <laughs> And then plus when we're in the meeting rooms, you always hear him in your meetings, even though he's not in the room. So, uh, yeah, he's a pretty intense he guy. Shows though. Love too, don't yeah, yeah, all the time. Love. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I'm Justin Fitzgerald, wide receiver from Richmond, Virginia. And uh, Coach Mason, he is definitely the complete opposite of a laid back coach. You know, he will definitely let you know what's on his mind. He won't hold nothing back. So. My name is Amon Maxwell from Paducah, Kentucky. Uh, I'm a receiver and uh, just playing under Coach Mason, I can definitely say he's a motivator. Being here the longest of all these guys up here, uh, I've seen this program turn around and, and just head in just the right direction. And uh, just like you said, man, Coach Mason, you know, he shows you love and he also gets in your butt whenever you're not doing your job. So it's definitely, definitely a positive having him as a coach on the team. Hello, my name is Anderson Fletcher. I'm from Toledo. You know, I play safety. And, uh, you know, uh, you know, Coach Mason, he's a cool guy. So, you know, that's all I can say. I've been only been here for a couple months, and I've just been enjoying myself while I've been here. Thank you. All right. Now, I'm going to put this, this part on my sports talk for next week. Uh, I, I, whenever I get the, some guys that come in, like at uh, CC's Pizza, they came in, I, I went ahead and put that on sports talk. So that's what I'm going to do with you guys. So you'll be on next Wednesday night. Um, Mason's cool. I mean, I get a hug from the man instead of just a handshake now. You know what I mean? And, and that's just, I, that's how, same with Frank. I, I haven't got a hug from Frank yet, but, but we're tight. You know what I mean? Uh, you guys got to know that I am the number one supporter for you guys in Athens County right here. You know that, right? All right. Um, and I will be, I'm getting, uh, Tesner's giving me some shoulder surgery tomorrow. Oh. Yeah. I, I told you guys what he said, didn't I? Hmm. Well, I was in his office a few weeks ago, and I'm bragging on you guys and this and that. And he goes, well, it'll be a couple of years before they're a winning team. I won't, I won't say the four-letter words or swear words that I said to him. And I said, you're wrong. And what Big Jim knows, Big Jim goes. I'm telling you. So then he tells me he's the team doctor. Floors me, right? So I go, well, hey, hey, I don't care. I'm telling you right now. So when you see him on the sidelines, mm -hmm. all you got to say is, hey, Big Jim knows what he's talking about. Okay, okay. But don't ride him too bad because he's doing a surgery on me and he'll be checking me out. And, you know what I mean? He's actually going to let me film it for my show. Oh. Yeah. So it's going to be like a Discovery Channel on Big Jim's show. <laughs> all right, listen, I'm going to give you guys a couple of trivia questions. And you're gonna get a prize. You're gonna get a prize, and you guys can, t you guys can talk amongst yourselves and come up with an answer. All right? All right. It's gonna be on chickens. It's gonna be on chickens, since we're at, uh, we're having a big chicken wing contest tonight. All right. There's four places in the United States with the word chicken in their name. Where are they? In the United States, there's four places with the word chicken in their name. Now let's put the mic over there. I want to hear you guys discuss. Chicken? Four places with the word chicken. No. Like a city or something. Like a city? You mean like a city? Yeah. Yeah. There's a city. Chicken and chicken. It's on, it's only an hour show, guys. Hold on. Is it pronounced chicken or do the, like... Chicken. Chicken is the main... Shoot. I don't know. I don't know that way. You know, all right, here. I, you know I love to educate on my show. You have no clue on any of it. I, no if I didn't go to uselessfacts.com, I wouldn't know. All right. Chicken Alaska. Chicken Bristol in Illinois and Kentucky. And Chicken Town, Pennsylvania. <laughs> All right? Wow. All right. Wow. Now, true or false, is there more chickens or people? Is there more chickens in the world than people? True or false? False. 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 false.
True. We go with true. Yeah, yeah, there are more chickens in the world, and I'm one of them when it comes to eating these chicken wings. I'm telling you right now. All right. According to the local ordinance in Gainesville, Georgia, is it illegal to eat chicken with a fork? Yes. He's from, he's from Georgia. He's good. He, 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 knows. Going with him. he knows. That's right. And you do get a prize, guys. All right, listen. You guys uh, all like live in the dorms kind of around each other? Uh, apartment. Apartment. You guys visit each other and everything? Yeah, we live together. All right, I'll tell you what. This is what I got for you guys. You guys got a twin microphone sing-along CD player so you guys can do some rapping or whatever you want to do. Take it on shoulder to camera. So these guys know what they're doing. And when you guys get a little tune together, whatever, let Big Jim know and I'll record it and I'll put you guys on the show. How's that? All right. Thanks for being on the show, guys. You guys are the best, man. You know I love you. You know I support you guys. Be cool. Uh, you go up there and you tell them that uh, Big Jim said to give you guys something to eat and something to drink up there, right? Okay. Get right up there. Go right up there to the bar over there. Let them know. And we'll get some of these other guys over here. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Are we rolling? We're rolling. Welcome to a special edition of Community Corner with Big Jim. This is the green smart style kind of thing and we're at Buffalo Wild Wings for a Big Jim night. They're nice enough to have me come down here and do my show and we got a blazing chicken wing contest tonight. I got this is a storm, storm rushing, sitting next to me. Big football player in the Trimble area. What what position do you play, Storm? Free safety. So safety. And uh, how many sacks or uh, tackles have you got so far this year? Four. Four. You can tell he's so enthused about it. I mean, there we go. There's the smile I'm looking for. All right, listen. I'm going to ask you some uh, some useless facts questions. All right. They, they they may be useless, but they're facts. And tonight. We're covering chicken since we're at Buffalo Wild Wings and they're chicken wings. All right. How fast can a chicken run? I don't know. Take an estimated guess. 12 miles an hour. Pretty close, Storm. Nine miles an hour. Okay. How long does it normally take a hen to lay an egg? A day. Real close again, 24 to 26 hours. Do you know what the record for laying the most eggs in one day is? 20. Seven. All right, that's, that's all I'm gonna ask you, but you know what the best part of my show is? What? 
Yes. Still get a prize. Oh, we don't want to. We don't want to get everybody uh, all riled up here. Storm, tell you what we got for you, buddy. I think I'm going to give you a jar of. No, I don't want to give you that. I'm going to give you a Frog Ranch T-shirt. Straight from Frog Ranch in Gloucester. They're supplying us all, so they always donate to me to give out. And uh, anything you'd like to say out there to uh, anybody? Not really. How about uh, go, go Tomcats? Yeah. All right. Here you go, buddy. Thanks for being on the show. Get your old, get your dad over here, and uh, we'll see what we can do on that. Uh, I got a few more contestants here. Um, let me see if I can uh, swing one of these guys. Hey, dude with a white hat on, man. Uh, he's busy talking. All right, listen, this is Community Quarter with Big Jim. We got to go ahead. What's your first name, man? Matthew. And uh, are you a student here, don't you? Yes, I am. Okay, what year are you in? And uh, tell me uh, uh, what you're majoring in. Um, I'm a fifth year, and I'm uh, majoring in biochemistry. Okay. Do you like the college? Yes, I love it. Okay. Are, are you a Bobcat football fan? Uh, somewhat. Okay. I follow them, but... Uh, they're uh, they're going to take the Mac this year, I think. So. Yeah. So. Calvin told me uh, he hasn't had double digits and touchdowns since he's been in college, and this is the year, and I believe he's only got six more to go. Okay. So they're playing Bowling Green this weekend. Uh, he should get a couple, I'm hoping. Yeah. Uh, have you seen the show at all? No, I have not. I'm going to ask you some useless facts questions. Okay. Uh, you get a prize regardless. Uh, let me know what you think about Buffalo Wild Wings. Take the mic. They're delicious. Wonderful. Right. Have you tried the, uh, the boneless? The yes, boneless. I have tried the boneless. <laughs> These are mild, and they still got a little kick to them. All right. I like to eat, relax myself while I do my show. I'm even enjoying a blue moon before I hit the Coke. <laughs> uh, there, oh, Pepsi products here, right? Yeah, I think they're Pepsi products. I prefer Pepsi anyway. All right. How many varieties of domestic chickens are there? Five. Excuse me? Five. There's more than 150. Okay. All right. Yeah, they're not doing. It's a bad start. True or false? There's more chickens in the world than people. True. That's right. You're one and one. All right, we we'll give you one last one here now. How many, approximately, chickens are in the United States? 300 million. How many? 300 million. You're, you're close. It's actually 450 million. Okay. And um, close to 300 live in Fair Oaks. I think that's Fair Oaks, California. I'm not sure. I'm not positive. But the best part of my, my show is you always get a prize on uh, Community Corner with Big Jim. And I'm going to start you off since uh, you need to be a Bobcat uh, football fan. I'm going to start you off with a calendar, a Big Jim calendar for 2007 because Community Corner with Big Jim cares about the community's future. Okay? It's got the, that's the first ball game they were in. And uh, I also got for you something to play along with on your dorm when you're bored at night, whatever. Here's a Yahtzee, here's a Yahtzee pen. Yahtzee? A Yahtzee pen donated from Family Dollar, my, my favorite store. And... Uh, it's not really a drinking game, so it's something you can enjoy. Make it a drinking game. You could make it a drinking game. All right, thanks for being along. You're going to be in the contest, yes, right? Of course. All right, we'll see you in a few minutes. Contest by Storm. Hey, now listen, you do know there's a little extra add additive to the contest tonight. What's that? There's also one chili pepper you have to eat from the Chili Pepper Festival in Gloucester that I was the 2004 king of. And they're not as hot as the chicken wings. I had one of them wings, them blazing wings last week. My lips were burning for two hours afterwards. I'm just preparing you, preparing you. But the peppers also kicked in with there. So uh, I know you can do it within six minutes. Good luck. Brown tickets are coming your way, I hope. Thank you very much. All right, you have a good day. Community Corner with Bay. Get that lady over here. Get that girl over here. Who wants to be in it? Get her over here. Get her over here. We have our 
they have a contestant on the female side getting into getting into the uh, the blazing wing. Uh, have you done it before? I have not. First name, you must be a student here. First name, what you're majoring in, and something you like about the campus. Go ahead and take the mic. Look right at the campus. My name's Jessica. I'm a printmaking major. Um, it's my fifth year, so I just love the campus. Can't quite make myself leave. Have you had these uh, boneless chicken wings yet? They're delicious. All right, I'm going to give you a couple useless facts questions. Okay. How, how many beats a minute does a chicken heart do? 120. Nope. Do you watch my show at all? No. Do you get Time Warner Cable? Yes, we do. Okay. Channel 23, every Friday night at 8 o'clock, a new show. You're going to have to watch the show to get the answer okay. on this one, okay? Here's another one for you. What happens if a rooster is not present in a flock of hens? I have no idea. The hen will often take the roll, stop laying eggs, and begin to crow. Really? These are facts. They're useless, but they are facts, okay? Um... True or false? Is there more chickens in the world or more people in the world than chickens? Chickens. You're absolutely right. Okay. One on one. Here's your last one. What month is National Chicken Month? April. You get 12 guesses, right? Or you get a guess of 12. April. Um, no, the answer is September. It's a good time for a chicken festival. You still get a prize on Big Jim's Community Corner. And I tell you what, you look like the type of person that would enjoy a candle from Jody's Country Collectibles in Millfield. Have you ever had their candle? I have not. These are, this one here is actually um, Country Clothesline scent. That's what you get for being on Big Jim's show. Thank you very much. Watch the show to learn the answer to your question. And uh, good luck in the blazing. You're the first uh, lady that could be having a picture up there. I looked at all the pictures, and there's no pictures of women up there. All guys. You could be the first one. I'm going to try. And if you are, if your picture goes up there, I'm going to give you a special prize later. Okay. Okay? Good luck. Thanks for being on the show. Community Corner with Big Jim. We're at Buffalo Wild Wings. I'm enjoying these boneless uh, chicken wings, uh, nuggets. I don't know. I'm not quite sure what they're called, but they are tasty. This is mild, and it's got a little bit of a kick to it. Community Corner with Big Jim. I'll be right back. All right. Come over here, Becca. I want to introduce my camp. The other way. Go the other way. I don't want you tripping over. And, now, the only reason, she's my daughter, but the only reason why she's camera tonight is I had to promise her I wouldn't treat her like I do my normal guest. Wave at the camera. This is Becky. Come over here, Becky. In between us, there's, I'll see your smiling face. Wave at him. This is Becca. Now get back on the camera. See, that's what she doesn't want me to do. She doesn't want me to be rude to her. First name, uh, you're obviously a student here, I take it. What are you majoring in? What year are you in? And tell me something about the college. Go ahead and take the mic. Uh, well, I have a couple sips of my Blue Moon. Of course. Uh, my name is Jim Casal. I'm an education major. I'm a freshman here. And uh, I used to run track, track and field at, in high school. What high school? Uh, Hudson High School. It's uh, by Akron, Ohio. Okay. okay. So you ran track? Are you in track here? Uh, no. Why not? Too slow. Yeah. I bet you're running after all the cute ladies on campus, though. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, all right. And I'll tell you right now, there's a beautiful lady that's in charge of kind of Buffalo Wild Rings, and that's her right there. Becky, come over here real quick and say hi to the folks. She's, uh, she's involved with Buffalo Wild Wings, and uh, she's helping me kind of like put this little thing on here at Buffalo Wild Wings with Big Jim. You got her on camera? Uh, Becky, you're from Logan, right? You're in the, the main office. Oh, Lancaster, right? Or Lancaster. Um, can you fill us in a little bit how long this Buffalo Wild Wings has been here? Go ahead and take the mic. Let me see how, how, how caught up she is on the trip. Right. He asked me that like I know the answer to this question. Um, I've been with the company since, what would it be, a year in October 10th. So 
It's obviously been here longer than I have been here. It's my understanding that this location has been open about five years. And it's doing good business. Doing a great business. We love our students here in Athens, you know. The place to be, you know, to watch the game, to hang out. It's a good place. Um, how many um, how many of these blazing wing challenges go on here? Is it like all the time, or they, can they do it whenever they want to? Sure. Um, anyone can stop in and, and do a blazing challenge anytime they like on their own. We'll just get their picture up there on the board, and, you know, they get a blazing challenge T-shirt if they, if they take the challenge. Um, but it, on special circumstances, when we do a group all at once and we have a big prize, you know, that's, that's very, very rare around here. In Lancaster, we do it about once a month, but I'd like to do it more often here if there's interest to do it. Well, Big Jim is going to make sure that happens. All right. Thank you very much, Becky. Isn't she beautiful? Yes, she is. All right. You've, you've said enough, I think. We're going to get you into the trivia questions. Have you seen my show at all? Uh, sadly, no. Sadly, no. Do you get Time Warner Cable? Um, I believe so. I believe so. All right. Well, it's Channel 23 every Friday night at 8 o'clock, okay? you got going to check out Community Corner with Big Jim. And Wednesday nights is Sports Talk with down there with Frank and the guys on the field. Uh, I'm going to switch this up a little bit. I've been been talking about chickens tonight. I'm going to switch it over to Buffalo all of a sec. Okay? All right. During what years was the Buffalo nickel minted? Um, 1905 to 1945. 1913 to 1938. Good guess. Wasn't right, though. All right. What are, wait a minute. Does Texas have a town named Buffalo? Yes. Okay, where is it? In Texas. East Texas. Maybe a little bit more specific on my show, okay? Um, one of the following does not exist. Hang on a minute. Uh, I want to go. I want to do this one instead. It's your last one, by the way. If you type in Buffalo on Amazon.com, Amazon how many books would there be? Uh, 3,800. That's wrong. 994. The best part of my, my show, though, is watch these people jump. You still get a prize on Community Corner with Big Jim. That's right. Yeah, we're, we're trying to get them jump. Hang on. All right. This is for you to go back to your dorm. It's a bath pal squirter. It's a little ducky. You put it in the bathtub with you, and you squirt that thing there, and it squirts water out of the mouth. Oh, wow. Thanks for being on the show, man. Good luck in the contest. Good luck in the contest. Community Corner with Big Jim passing out fantastic prizes. We'll be right back. We're rolling. All right. Sorry I had to cut you off there. The guy was in line, ready to get out of my show, and um, I got bombarded with some, some football guys. And I'm the biggest, I'm the self-proclaimed number one Bobcat football fan yes. in Athens County. Have you seen my show at all? Yes, I've seen it quite a bit. Okay, uh, have you seen any of the sports talk with Big Jim show yet? I don't think I've caught that one. Okay, that's on a new spinoff. Wednesdays and Thursdays, I'm down in the field talking to Frank and the guys, okay. trying to get all angles of OU football. I'll talk to the managers, the guy that catches the ball when they practice the field goal kicking, yeah. you, the girls that get the water, you name it, I get them on. Um, what's your best show that you've seen at Community Corner with Big Jim? I kind of liked, I liked a lot when you made the candle. The candle shop. The, the Big Jim candle, I thought that was really interesting. Sweated a lot in that show. It, it seemed like it would be hot in there. It was, it was really hot. Even the guy, I believe, mentioned that I sweated a lot that show. But um, have you gone down there and got a candle from them yet? Unfortunately, I haven't made it out there. Okay, you're going to have to get out there. He's got all kinds of good stuff there. As a matter of fact, here's the birdhouse I made on that show. Right there. Do you remember seeing that? Yeah. That's the birdhouse I made. All right. You live on campus? Uh, no, I'm off campus. All right, where do you live? Uh, Mill Street Village. Okay. What, uh, what year are you in, and uh, what are you majoring in? I'm a senior. I'm majoring in history. Okay. From around here? Uh, I'm from Cleveland area. Cleveland? Yeah. Are you in the contest later? Uh, yes, I will be. So you're a Cleveland Browns fan, I take it? A little bit, yeah. Okay. They're playing Kansas City December 3rd. If you're the grand prize winner, you get the two tickets for that. 
All right. I'm going to give you a couple of trivia, useless facts questions. You get a prize whether you get it right or not. All right. All right. Chickens were domesticated about how many years ago? Oh, jeez. I'm sweating right now. So hot. maybe it's these... Uh, Maybe it's these boneless wings that I'm eating, man. Have you tried those? I haven't had those yet. Here, try one, man. Just grab one there. I'm using a mic, so I, I'm not. I'm, I'm using a fork. Use it with mild sauce. Oh, okay. What do you think? A little bit better. They're hot. I mean, they're getting a little cold, but I like my chicken cold anyway. What do you think? Of? All right, they're pretty good. Speaking speaking of uh, chicken, I'm thinking 2,500 years ago. You're gonna have to wait and watch my show in a couple weeks to find out the answer. All right. This way, I know you're you're gonna watch the show. <laughs> what is the closest living relative to the chicken? To the chicken, like, would it be? What is the closest living relative of the chicken? Uh, the, actually, the chicken is the closest living relative to this. Oh, dinosaurs. The Tyrannosaurus Rex. Yeah, so yeah, that's that, that, that's a go. That's a good one for me. What do you suffer from if you have a fear of chickens? Uh, I don't know what kind of phobia that is. I don't know. Doesn't have. You know I can't pronounce names sometimes. I want you to pronounce that word for me. Electorophobia. That's not. Yeah, it would have. That's good enough for me. Not have guessed that. I would, if I didn't go to uselessfacts.com, I wouldn't know any of this stuff. All right. What month is National Chicken Month? April. No. September. September. We're in it right now. Okay. That's right. It's a perfect month for a chicken festival, and this is kind of my chicken festival, you might say. Got the big contest going on. You know what the best part of my show is? Prizes. That's right, you still get a prize on Community Corner with Big Jim. And um, you got a girlfriend? Yeah. She pregnant? No. She gonna be? I hope not. Well, we don't wanna give you that then, hang on. We don't wanna give you that then. I will give you this, you can get this to your girlfriend. All right. You seem like a nice classy dude. There's a little monkey and he's got some gumballs in it. Uh, donated from Family Dollar, they always give Big Jim stuff. Little monkey, she can hang it on.